Welcome everyone to episode 6 of building a large HO layout. As you saw, we have a new building. The building is a Waller City Station, but in this case I'll be making it my yard office because every train yard needs one. I picked up this kit at Hobbytown USA. They had a decent selection, but I was definitely limited in the choices for yard offices. That's why shopping online could be a little bit more better sometimes. They did have some cool auto racks by Walther's Proto though, and some other good quality freight cars too. The first thing I did was spray paint all the brick pieces white. I like to use Rust Oleum Flat White Paint and Primer. Once it's all dry, we are ready to put everything together. And I do have to say that this was one of the most time consuming models so far. The model does come with some city names if you're looking to use this as an actual train station. And as usual, the instructions are always hectic. Now I can start working on putting this building together. To glue it together, I'll be using my Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. In total, the time to completely build this was about 4 to 5 hours over the course of about 2 days. Here it is all built and placed where I think I'm going to put it. And it also fits perfectly between the track and the road. One thing I didn't show was painting the base a flat gray because I did end up painting it white which wasn't going to look realistic in the end. Now one mistake I did was putting this piece upside down. It's not too bad, I'll just have to add some trash bins or some soda machines later on to cover it up. The last thing I'll be doing is painting the road. Walmart has this country gray matte acrylic paint that looked good for a well used road. Then I do my pour and paint process. And in this case there is no need to tape anything off because it'll all be covered in dirt and grass later on. So far so good and I am liking the new addition to the layout. It actually fits really well, even though it is on the larger side, I think it is a nice touch to the layout. And in next week's episode I'll show where this actually is in comparison to the sugar meal in real life. I just need to go shoot some video of it. Once the road is weathered and given road lines, I think it will look pretty realistic. Well, that's going to be a wrap on this episode. I do know that this is a very short episode, probably the most short one that I've actually produced so far. But with the time given, this is pretty much all I was able to get done this week. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and tuning in, and I will catch you guys in next week's episode.